be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, we're going to be talking about the quickest way to make a spot em, got em type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now look, first things first, spot em, got em. He likes to keep the melodies very basic and has the beat jumping, okay? So that's really the main thing to keep in mind here. You don't need a crazy melody. You just need something that's gonna be kinda catchy and you need a beat that's gonna be really bouncy. So let's go ahead and create a basic melody first and then jump right into creating a bouncy beat and you know, wrap this up. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a software instrument track. We can go ahead and go with Alchemy as far as our instrument or our VST. Um, something that everybody should be able to use. So we'll click that. Um, I can come over here and do the search and just say piano, and we can find some type of piano to work with this. All right, so once you find like the instruments you wanna use here, it's pretty gonna be pretty simple. You just wanna find some basic chords um, I'm gonna do this B minor, then this, then this E minor. So we'll just do something simple like that. And this to mix it up, we could do something that's called inverting the chord or doing using an inversion. Basically, what we're gonna do is take the root note and then uh, put it up an octave. So, like if I'm playing this B uh, B minor B flat minor chord. We got this um, B flat, and then we got this C, uh, or you, know, you just can't see it because of these. Um, let me see it like this. That's what I'm playing right there. Anyway, um, inverting it, I'm just gonna take the take this note and move it up an octave. Anyway, let's get it. Let's get into the, the pattern here. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a loop, and I'm just gonna be playing these basic chords. So I can do some different stuff like that. Let's go. All right, bet. So after you get everything together, again, we're gonna keep this melody simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and quantize it here. We'll do one over eight. Now it's time for the drums, you know what I mean? And again, you want those drums to be really bouncy. So we'll start off with an 808. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, quick sampler here. We're just doing a quick uh, software instrument track and then finding the quick sampler. If you're brand new to Logic Pro 10, if you already have like a sound pack somewhere on your computer, you can just drag and drop like an 808 right here. I actually already have something saved, so I'm gonna use that 808. So cool, so now once you got that 808, now it's just time to play around with a dope like 808 melody. So once you already have that uh, basic 808 pattern, you can come over here. This is the velocity setting. Move all your 808s um, to the top as far as like the actual uh, velocity. Get the best quality 808 going. And if you mess up on the chords, that's all good. You can come over here to the scissors and then you can just move stuff around.
bet. So now that we got that going, now let's go ahead and add a clap. A very simple way to do this. I already have like some of these instruments pulled up, so I just need to go ahead and load it. So I got a clap right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the scissors and I'm gonna use the step sequencer to create Need to make this beat a little more uh, bouncy. So put a little note in here. As you can see, it's like sounding real choppy. The quickest way to get rid of that is just to highlight everything by pushing Command A and then right click and then go down to Force Legato. All right, and then how we're gonna bring this all home is really just through our hi-hats. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a new pat, um, software instrument track. We'll go ahead and bring up our quick sampler and again, I already have these uh, sounds uh, saved into Logic here, and all I'm doing is just loading them by come on over here. We could go load, but load, most of our sounds are going to be all right here, so I'm just bringing them up. But if you're new, again, you can drag and drop sounds anywhere um, into this quick sampler and just use it just like that. But for this hi hat, what I want to do is I want to create like a, an extended hi hat roll different parts different different places in the in the um, in the track I notice that he has a lot of those in his beats so what you could do is push the letter P and you can go to step sequencer and then you want to go from 16 steps to 32 steps and it's gonna give you a little bit more to work with That's, that's pretty dope. And what you want to do, sometimes your hi-hat might sound a little bit off as far as the key. You just click on that and go to notes, and then you can just, if you know you're on the third octave right there, you can pick any of these notes and make sure you go on a third octave. So I'll just push it up to F, we'll go F3. And that snare will also help this uh, beat to stand out a little bit more. Push uh, the letter P, step sequencer. Of course, we also need to go ahead and do some type of a kick. For this one, I don't actually have a kick that I want to use. So I'm just going to come over here to my files and we can go to downloads. I got my next level drum kit, 
by the way, if you go to BeMakingBasics.com, you can grab one of our kits there. We got loop kits. We also got this drum kit there. We got a bunch of other courses. So go to BeMakingBasics.com. We'll just get one of these kicks right here and drag it in. I like that kick for this beat. And then you just add the 808 back with it and you pretty much got a spot them, got them type beat. So let's check this out. And you know you can always come around here and just add little, you know, make little adjustments to it. Like for instance, um, I don't think that we need to hit it with this double on this one. And you can always, this is another trick here, that you can always like redo certain um, tracks within your beat. All right, so say if like everything is sounding dope except for one part, instead of like the trashing the whole beat or feeling like the beat sucks, it might just be like one part that you need to focus on and uh, you know, do better with, maybe like this 808. So basically what we'll do is we'll keep this 808 pattern a little more simpler. And then this cool thing is you can go ahead and switch between these two 808s now. So like you have one bouncy, super bouncy 808 and you have this other 808 that is more basic, all right? And then what you can also do just to spice up the melody of this a little bit, you could throw a plug in on here called like murder melodies or even just throw on like a reverb and it, you know you could do some pretty cool things with that uh, where is that plug in at? okay boom
Anyway, y'all, that's the quickest way to make a spot em, got em type beat in Logic Pro 10. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.